Well, today we're going to be looking at a book that is uh, published and available from Fanderson, which is the uh, official Jerry Anderson fan club. Um, and one of the good benefits of joining Fanderson is you get access to their memorabilia uh, sort of site shop, I suppose. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, one of the things I picked up uh, was this sort of perfect bound magazine and it's about the super space theater um, releases from the worlds of Jerry Anderson and basically in America um, they they were trying to sort of work out a way of, of using Jerry Anderson's products so they thought the best bet was to edit them into TV movies it was, you know, TV movies always been popular in America. Um, so they would uh, take a, a few episodes loosely connected from the uh, Jerry Anderson shows, edit them together, sometimes quite well, sometimes quite badly. They would also usually strip the brilliant Barry Gray music off and put just stock music on. And then they would also put a load of uh, video effects on it um, because kids like video effects and this magazine is uh, a brilliant read and it's the story of them making these films uh, and it's super lavish full of great uh, illustrations and uh, it they say basically tells the story and it goes through each one how they were edited together what was missing what was added because weirdly sometimes they did film new footage for them um, it's, it's a very very strange thing they did very very strange time for Jerry Anderson's products and I remember um, in the very early days of video um, having some of these uh, and they they were released originally on VHS and beta in like hard old style cassette cases clear ones with fold out sleeves really good. I wish I'd have kept them because the, the big thing that's great about the Super Space Theatre is they commissioned uh, artwork to advertise them. And also, part of what you get, we'll have a look in a minute, is prints of all the uh, the artwork that they commissioned. And it's, I mean, it's much, much better than the, uh, the finished films, to be honest. There's more effort gone into them. But the magazine is super lavish. It's so nicely done. Um, it just goes in, so it shows all the foreign posters that were done, which some of them were very, very strangely done. Um, I think Space 1999 was the first ones they did, um, because obviously it, this sounds awful, it was the most like Star Wars, so even though it was before Star Wars, and that was the big thing in the early 80s, everything had to be like Star Wars. Alien Attack. Um, and they were made up of, I think the first one was made up of uh, sort of it wasn't no the the weirdly the the second film released was the one that contained breakaway which is the pilot episode it was it was very strange um so alien attacker so it goes through the story and then they did a ufo one which i remember not liking that one because it was so hackily put together but look at that artwork that's good um and uh, they i think they must have been quite successful they did the Thunderbirds. The Thunderbirds run worked quite well. It seemed to be the least tinkered with. Um, Sting. They did a Stingray one, uh, Invaders from the Deep and Incredible Voyages, um, which they were okay. It, it was a nice sort of film, but they put when the Sting missiles came out, they'd put laser effects over them to make it look like it was. It was just very very odd. Um, you can get a box set of all these films. I don't know whether they're sort of worth getting. Captain Scarlet. Um, they pretty much did most of the Anderson stuff. Joe 90. And for a while, this was the only the only way to watch, or to officially watch, Jerry Anderson's stuff in the UK because they were the only videos available. Um, and then I think Channel 5 started... Channel 5, the... Uh, the video arm, not any sort of TV station, um, started releasing 
the uncut episodes and suddenly we could see that these movie versions weren't very good but yeah, that's the um, that's the sleeves I had they like folded up and that's the channel 5 releases I used to love channel 5 they were like the first um, UK sell through arm for video um, and the first video I ever bought sell through officially was um, Invasion of the Body Snatchers it was amazing um, we'll come back to uh, Captain Scarlet and the Miss Johns and that uh, artwork in a second. Um, yeah, so if you're at all interested in these, it's fascinating as well the story that they sort of they started off putting a lot of effort into them, and then as they went on, because they were popular, they just wanted to do more and more, and less effort was put in. But the people doing it wanted to put the effort in. Um, but obviously the budget wasn't there. What's really interesting is it feels like when you're watching it feels like it's slapped together but there was a lot of thought went into it um, just misguided. So you get the, the magazine but then you also get a really very nice cardstock um, A4 prints. So this is the uh, Space 1999 compilation of the Metamorph introducing uh, the wonderful Maya. Uh, I think uh, slightly odd colouring on uh, Coney there but the artwork's just gorgeous. Um, then we had Journey Through the Black Hole which the artwork not quite as impressive. That was one of the later ones. Uh, Thunderbirds Countdown to Disaster which was um, a couple of the sort of uh, episodes involving moving buildings and industrial stuff so it's sort of weirdly linked together New York I don't remember there being one massive building in New York like that but when I visited uh, Captain Scarlet interesting that Captain Scarlet is in his own angel jet in space cloud bases ended up in space I think this one Oh, there's the artist, Jim Gloria. Well done, Jim. That is beautiful stuff. We'll keep that one out because we'll compare it to one of the actual uh, releases which I've managed to get, or still got, I should say. Um, Stingray. Nice little close-up of Stingray. Thunderbirds in Outer Space. So they l sort of link together some of the uh, episodes that mainly featured Outer Space. Um... I think it was Ricochet and Sun Pro. J90. Not quite as uh, detailed. This artwork reminds me of the Remus Playsets artwork. Um, you can see that that's a modified Angel Interceptor. Joe's car. Uh, Captain Scarlet. Those uh, aliens. Uh, the Mistrons didn't look like that. They looked like the aliens from UFO. If it's the same artwork, where's the UFO one we looked at? Have we seen the UFO one? That? Yeah, we'll have a look, see if that's uh, on it. Uh, the better of the Stingray ones, that's it's one of my favourite sets, that's really nice. Good stuff. Um, Thunderbirds. Ah, so do we, where's that one? Do we reckon they've... Copied the same aliens. Yeah, I think so. That is brilliant. That's such an action packed poster. None of which happens in the, the episode. Alien attack. And then destination moon base alpha. So, really nice package. Um, worth it alone for the the posters but the magazine is is a great read um, but I've actually got a couple of the original Laserdisc releases I thought we might have a look at them and it's basically the only thing I ever had left um, so it was Precision Video they did the, uh, the Laserdisc and the VHS tapes uh, and this one is Thunderbirds in Outer Space and you can see it's the the same artwork because it's 
meant to be, you can see it's laser disc is square, and this isn't square, so they had to uh, put a lot of edge in around it. They used to do that with the laser discs. So let's have a look. Apologies for my chair creaking like that. Uh, it was my chair. So, 88 minutes, 1981. Oh, that's power Seacam, brings back some memories there. Thunderbirds in Outer Space, and then it gives you a write up. Um, oh, other laser discs. Stingray. Hawk the Slayer. <laughs> Moses the Lawgiver. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Uh, a daring mission to launch a super spaceship that will orbit around the sun. Um, and then simultaneously, i.e. in a different episode, International Space Control successfully destroys a faulty unmanned rocket. And then we get some nice photos of the craft. Uh, and then the other one I've got is Captain Scarlet. So... It's all, actually, it's almost, it is, it's the same, it's, it's the laser disc size almost, look at that. Interesting that there is slightly more image on, you can see if we line it up, it is that size, amazing. It does line up, so there's actually slightly more image on the uh, laser disc than there was on the A4 uh, posters. Prepare for the ultimate battle of the 21st century. There's old Captain Scarlet in his interceptor. Did that happen in the episode? Don't think it did. Um, Captain Scarlet versus the Mistrons. Cloud base is the headquarters of Spectrum. Uh, this, yeah, this uh, the world president. So I think it, this is the first episode as well. On it. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a laser player anymore, so I can't. Uh, play it to find out but I think it has that's always that's uh, Captain Black in um, the um, Mars probe ship but yeah I thought you might like to look at them um, wish I could get the others wish I could get the um, VHS tapes uh, very heavy laser discs here wow what was the running time on this one 96 minutes so you get a bit more bang for your buck there I can remember as well renting not the laser disc but renting the VHS's uh, in the very, very early days, like 82, 83, when you had to like pay to join video libraries and it was very, very strict. There wasn't that many tapes about. Um, so renting these and watching them was just magic, absolutely magical. Uh, unfortunately, none of them have got the original, none of these uh, compilation films had the original opening uh, title sequences which was such a shame they are tacked on a load of old rubbish ones very 80s video effect ones um, but uh, if you see them they're worth uh, worth a quick watch they're probably you can probably stream them somewhere or like say pay for the massively expensive HD blu-ray set if it turned up cheap enough I'd probably get it but yeah um, well worth getting if you're a member of Fenderson or if you're not and you know someone that's very kindly a member get them to buy it for you thank you eric <laughs> um and uh they got tons of other stuff as well if you want to see more uh fanderson stuff or even just jerry anderson stuff let me know i've been sorting through i've got drawfuls magazines and stuff um it's found all my old sig magazines for anyone that remembers them um, but thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you can and i'll see you again next time thanks then bye